Crazy Towns. Ten minutes or less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's start the timer. Uh, yeah, we did that. Ten minutes or less. Yeah, dude. Uh, so, how you like wingman? And I'm sorry, what? Wingmanning, like the act of helping your fellow person uh, meet or introduce or hook up with ladies or men. Like I'm, what, like I'm somebody's sidekick or something? Like you're their hitch. Will Smith hitch, he's like the dating guy. You're telling like, me I'm going to make Jada Pinker cry or something? Is that what you're trying to say? No, you're going to embarrass yourself on national TV. I don't know how to take that. Thank you. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but, uh, but no, like uh, wingman. And, you know, like. So the art of wingmanning, the, the, the art of getting a friend of yours ingrained into the emotional heartstrings of a woman that neither one of you know. Or a man. Depending if the woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm speaking from my own personal experiences. It, it, it is. It is an art form, Jonas. It is a a, a timeless effort, a selfless after, uh, effort. Yeah. But it's not always selfless because sometimes, like by being the person that brings everyone over, you can you end up meeting someone too. Yeah. I mean, that's true. That's true. Um, I've done it before, Jonas. I've I, I have I definitely have some individuals that will sit up here and tell you is that I've gotten them laid. In the night, it's yeah. late. Do people still say late? Yeah, I don't know. I feel I, like that. <laughs> that sounds like a boomer word. <laughs> right? I need to get laid. I get laid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but see, here's the thing. I feel as to be a, a wingman. All right. You have to have some charisma yourself. I mean, yeah, but it's easy when you're not working for yourself. When you're not trying to sell yourself and you're trying to sell somebody. They're more willing to listen to you when you're not hitting on exactly. them directly as well, yeah. It's like a commercial versus like a politician. A commercial is just trying to sell you on this cheeseburger or like we have the lowest prices in town. I'm more apt to believe that than I'll be good for your country. What about the commercials for the politicians? Th that's what I'm saying. I don't tr Look, nobody trusts a politician, but everybody will go to Walmart. Yeah, and they're probably and they're doing both some slave labor or something. <laughs> exactly. somewhere. They're both equally as corrupt in, yeah, in my yeah, eyes, yeah, for real. Wrong, so. But yeah, nobody trusts a politician. So naturally, when somebody's trying to sell themselves to you, you're going to be on your you know, a girl is going to be on her. Yeah, well, and also they, it gives an easy out because if you walk up like and be like, "Hey, my but, my, why don't you? What are you and your friend doing? You want to come over and talk to me, and my buddy?" And they look and they're interested in you in your buddy. Yeah. She'll say, yeah, we'll come over. And if not, she'll say, oh, we can't. We have to whatever. You know, so they have an easy out where it's not like – because, because, dude, I didn't know this, but talking to women about guy, about when guys approach them and stuff, I've had numerous women tell me that that they'll give out their real phone number because they're so, like, intimidated that they, without even thinking, will give their phone number or don't want to make the guy mad because they don't know what will happen because some guys have terrible, like – anger issues uh, and, like, and it's like they'll be like yeah i gave this guy my phone number i didn't even want to give it to him I'm like why they're like because i didn't know what he'd do if i told him no and i was like well, why didn't you give him a fake number and they're like i was freaked out i didn't think i just said here here's my phone number like I'm, like oh my god and i was like that opened my eyes to like but how on the same note jonas how else are you supposed to communicate with people well that's how we communicate but here's the thing there there you can do it very casually and nice or you can be creepy I mean, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I've talked to that's many. That's subject to, to, like, your viewpoint or your well, perspective. Well, but I've also, like, if it's a natural thing, like, I've actually been at a place before and, and talked to a girl. And we had kind of had a fun banter exchange. Somehow we started talking. One time it was a girl who worked at the store. We've had a fun exchange or whatever. And I was just like, hey. You want to go get dinner or something? And they were like, yeah, we went out and had dinner a couple times. It didn't go to anything. No, we're getting before the no dinner thing. You, How do you have a banter with somebody? This is the thing. This is the whole point. Like the initial. It has to be relevant. I mean, yeah, it has to be relevant. That particular situation, I was, I needed something stupid from like the dollar store or something. And she was, she was working there. She was cute. And I went up and talked to her because I was like, hey, I'm looking for, I think it was like hangers or something. And, and then... And I was looking because the ones that didn't have like the dips or did have the, I don't remember what, but she made some like some fun, playful comment like, oh, you do that, what you're hanging your whatever on or no. something, something that was like busting my balls. And I was like, oh yeah. And then we had like, so we had a fun bantery exchange Ugh. and then, you know, but well, like, how do you, how do you do it cold then? How do you do it when it's cold? Oh, like you see your girl, know, you're like, I had a reason to talk to her still. So as a wingman, you, like you said, you get an out, you get to walk over and be like, Hey. 
My friend really likes you. Um, wants to know if you want to come over and talk to you. Look, I got you on the first drink. You know, he's a really nice guy. I can vouch for him. Swear to God, we're not creeps. Boom, I got you on a drink. Your friend want to come too. Boom, that's how you wing man, all right? right? right. That's yeah. how you wing man. Right. Like, I look, I'm, a, I'm an artiste. I'm well, Vincent right. Van and, Gogh. And, and a lot of women will go, what do we have to lose? It's one drink at the bar. Exactly. Does that same, I guess that same idea would probably work <laughs> if it were cold. But to yourself, it's harder because it's yeah. like they, they because here's because the, they get two wins. Because if you go up like that, if they're actually interested in you, yeah, one of them, yeah, because like, because you know, girls will like talk to each other, like so you can't yeah. hear them. So, because like, so you may you go up and say, "Hey, my buddy likes you, whatever." The, like, hey, your friend want to come too? And the friend might be like, "I think he's cute," you know, or whatever. And the, so, so they can choose to come over because they want to talk to you. Wow! And they get to look at your buddy, and if like, if they decide the two of you as a whole are good enough to come talk to, wow, they, Jonas! So they you, get a big like you could just wingman yourself. You could you could you could use the same tactic to wingman yourself. Yeah, I mean essentially, yeah. If you <laughs> dude, here's the thing. I feel that if there's a table with women and you're willing to walk up and wingman yourself to a woman, the other women will give you respect about that for if, yeah, because because to facts. walk up to a group of women and hit on one of the women, balls. Yeah. I mean, that takes balls. Cause she could just dog you in front of her friends and make you look like an asshole. Like <laughs> is she, it, or she, or like if you get, if she is into you, they're like, Oh damn. Like respect to him to just walk up to yeah. her. Are you a buy a girl a drink type of guy? No, <laughs> no. And, but, and, and, and here's why, and here's why. <laughs> if, if we're talking and we go to get, Hey, do you want to go get a drink? We get it together, but I'm not the bring them a drink guy or send them a drink. Like if I'm talking to them. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, oh, then, yeah. Like I'll be like, yeah, I'll, I'll be like, you want to drink? Well, are we going to get drinks? Yeah. And I'll say, I'll just grab this round. You know what I mean? Like whatever. Like, yeah. Um, but I'd make, I'd make, I mean, I'd be like, look, I got you on a drink. Come up with me. You know, what do you drink? Where are you from? What you right, doing? Exactly. So it's uh no, where, it's, where it's your man art. at? Because here's the thing, dude, here, here's where you f would fail at that. Not you personally. Okay, if you're a bunch of dudes and none of you are decent with women at all, don't, are socially awkward, don't know how to talk, whatever, and your buddy's like, hey, that girl over there is pretty cute, and like the guy that walks up is just as unsuave and unattractive and unappealing, that's going to – you're not going to – you're not, you can't just – you have to – there's a certain type of person, like you said. You have to be have some sort of charisma, come off as like an average person that isn't a creep at least – and and that, that's I mean that's the starter kit. Then you got to ha add like actual like conversationality and like maybe you're cute or maybe you got to you know whatever. It's it's a, there's a lot to it, man. I, I still say it's easier to wingman somebody else, especially oh, thou especially in conversation. Percent. Like once once you already have the individual at the table or at the couch or whatever, and they're actually talking to your friend, you can start bringing up some of your friend's accolades. It's all right. it's, it's perfectly okay for you to talk up some of your friend's accolades, even if they're made <laughs> Right, you're up. not going to walk up and be like, yeah, so I have a master's degree. Exactly. And I, and I did like, look, hey, yo, my boy over here, man, just won a Nobel Peace Prize. Tell him about <laughs> your Peace Prize, homie. Yeah. Tell him about your Peace Prize. You know, I can do that. Yeah, right. But you can't bring up the fact that you won a Nobel right, Peace Prize. exactly, exactly. I, and I've, I've definitely done that one before. Where I'll be like, yeah, my, my homie over here just, you know, <laughs> and I'll do one of those. <laughs> and they'll be like, oh, really? And I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, he, he was on the captain of the football team. Yeah, yeah they're like, yeah, he looks like one. <laughs> Motherfucker yeah. told me today he bench pressed, blah, blah, blah. And oh, I was like, dude. oh. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, fuck his a... dick. What, 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 <laughs> is that what happens? Is that what happens out there? <laughs> Dude, it's just it's it's. I mean, but but I ha I don't know because like, I but I started trying. Like I I decided that I was going to try, and when I went out with try, I would find reasons to talk to girls that I thought were cute that were in like a place. Yeah. Like, and sometimes, and what actually I think works the best, and I'm a, I'll cut it short after this is any like say you're in the grocery store or Target and you're in the same aisle as someone. If you can think of something situational to break the ice, to to. Th that that's what I've that's I've done that many times. I'll I'll say something really stupid like being like the clearance section, some stand and just say something stupid about something on the shelf, and they're like, "What?" And I'll just be like, "No, I'm just being dumb or whatever." And then it just and then you can be like, "Oh, hey, what's your name?" You know, and they might be like, "Oh, so and so or whatever." It's just it. There's cr uncreepy ways to break the ice. Hmm. 
I've, I've asked, I asked a girl about frozen chicken in the frozen chicken house sometimes. Like, I'm like, what do you know about all this frozen chicken? I usually cook it fresh. And she'll be like, oh, some of them are good and some of them are bad. And I'm like, well, which one's good? Dude, How long to you, did you sleep with her? No. Uh-huh. No, those ones never panned out, but I did I did get a couple phone numbers. Anyways, thecrazydown.com is where you go to subscribe uh, for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.